Hello my sweet friends, Shurma here, a very warm welcome to my show and so glad you chose to stop by. Let's paint a gratitude rose in one stroke deco art style. The materials needed for today's project are all listed over here. To start with, I have a white watercolor paper eight and a half centimeters by 16 centimeters in size and I have splashed it with a liquid watercolor called rosewood. This is the palette for the rose. I have permanent rose, pink and white acrylic and I am using a flat brush number six. Here I have loaded the brush with pink and white acrylic and I'm blending the color as well. The next step would be using a flat brush number four and some permanent rose and pink acrylic to create a loose shape of the rose. Now here is the first layer of the petals in the making. Remember I have pink and white acrylic on my flat brush number six. I would be adding a bit of permanent rose as and when needed because permanent rose is darker than pink. So whenever you want darker shades of the petal, just go ahead and add a tinge of permanent rose. Now for this particular style of painting, I really do not have any pencil sketch to guide me along. So this is all freehand. You just have your paint brush and the paint. And of course the grace of the Almighty without which nothing is possible. As humans, we know that the Almighty is our creator, right? So creating in all forms is part of our being. And whenever we reflect God's nature, it is a worship and praise to Him. Let me tell you a little about my own art journey. Now for me, my journey in this direction began very early in life. My mother, Sri Muti Moitre, and my father, Sri Bijoy Ray, had instilled the love of arts at a very young age. I have grown up watching my father create beautiful animal paintings and landscapes in oil. I would be amazed at the paraphernalia used to create such beautiful paintings. I would play around with the brushes, the colors, the canvases. They seemed to be a different world to me and I loved that world. I guess art as a hobby seems to run in the family. My father's siblings my aunt, Srimati Debi, Sen, and my uncle, Dr. H. S. Ray, are also very much inclined towards different forms of art. All three of them are deep into creativity, and I have been bitten by the same bug, you see. On the other hand, my mother is very good at needlepoint work and she loves music as well. For me, art is prayer. I am grateful for every brush stroke I make and thankful for the wondrous energy that guides my hand. 
thankful to the wonderful tools that help me turn my visions to life. There are many ways art and prayer are interconnected. Art is a visual language and through this language we can give glory and praise to the Almighty. What we are unable to express, we express through art. To the artist, every creation is an opportunity for the observer to see truth, wisdom and feel the presence of God. Worship is the feeling of reverence and adoration for a deity. When I look at a painting, I actually feel the power of God and express it back to Him. That is worship. When we open our eyes to see all the ways he works and reveals himself in our world. That is worship. Make every act of creative expression a prayer you offer to the world. That brings us back to the rose. At this point, I'm adding a lot of acrylic white to some of the large petals just to make them a little more prominent and I'm adjusting the other petals as well. I'm still using the same flat brush number six and I have pink and white in different proportions on the brush. So once I'm happy with the rows, I go on to create the foliage. So here is the palette for the foliage. I have olive green, bamboo green and white acrylic. So here I have picked up a flat brush number four and I have deep green and a bit of olive as well. I am just painting around the petals and I'm very careful not to disturb them at all. Now this process brings some of the petals to the foreground. That is, make them more prominent. So at this point I have a flat brush number 6 and deep green, bamboo green and white on my flat brush. And these are the one stroke style leaves in the making. The second leaf has more of white as compared to the first one. Did you notice it? B 
We need to do variations in the proportion of the greens and the whites we use and that brings about difference in the shade of the leaves. There's very little space in the corners so here I am just trying to suggest some leaves. Now once done, I went ahead and painted some tiny slider leaves with bamboo green and white acrylic on flat brush number 6. Once I was happy with the painting, I turned the panel into a tag. And that's a wrap on today's project. So hope you enjoyed watching me paint the gratitude rose. In one stroke deco art style. Please connect with me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. We'll be back soon with more interesting painting videos. Till then, stay tuned. Bye bye.